What's happening YouTube family? I hope you're doing really well. In this video, I'm actually going to talk about why you should never compare. So This isn't a how-to video. This isn't a 10 side hustles for 2020 video. This isn't a how to do Facebook ads to make money. This is some deep thinking mindset talk. Keeping it 100, keeping it real with you. I hope you don't mind. You know, it's a video that probably it won't even get a lot of views. But I'm about to go to the gym and I said to myself, I have to make this because this is some core spiritual things I believe in and I want to share it with you. So make sure you stick around. I will introduce myself. My name is Dominic. For those of you who don't know me, um, I talk a lot about personal finance, social media marketing, um, entrepreneurship, and the list goes on. Now, this video today, it literally came about just by having a conversation with one of my friends. And we spoke on the phone, and then we actually met up in person. And it was really nice, because guess what? Right now, nowadays, people just FaceTime. The essence of humanity has kind of changed. You do meet up with your friends, but it's not the same like how it was back in the day. A lot of it is to do with social media, all these technologies, which yes, have their benefits, but mm, they have their cons. So if you're into anything to do with mindset and entrepreneurship, I recommend that you subscribe because we're about to get straight into it. Now, why you should never compare. Now, social media, Instagram specifically, right? I love Instagram, but honestly, it can really hinder you if you're not a strong person. Now, Instagram is filled with beautiful images of like, you know, uh, lavish lifestyles. Everyone shows the best part of their, you know, their holidays. They show, you know, all their luxury, their designer clothes, their, you know, luxury watches, luxury cars, all these amazing things, private jets, the list goes on. For women, there's beautiful women online, different exotic women, um, black women, white women, Chinese women, Chinese mixed black, um, Peru, all these mixed women, and it's beautiful. Now, it, it, it can really be dangerous if you don't really know how to take care of your own mindset. Because honestly, let's say, for example, you're a man. You see another guy with, I don't know, a Rolls Royce. And you, you're out there and you've got a Toyota Corolla. Now, should you feel less of a man because there's another guy with a Rolls Royce? No. You know why you should never compare, first and foremost, wealth? Because number one, you don't know how they got it. First and foremost, that person could have sold their soul. And what I mean by that is they could be, they could, they could be, well, I don't even know how they're getting it, but it could be getting in a bad way, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, a bad way. There's sites online you can register to have someone take care of you and pay a lifestyle. So they could be getting it a bad way. Number two, who knows? This guy could have inherited this money from somewhere, from life insurance. His family could have died and left him with an inheritance. Number three, the person could have been passed on a business. Number four, they could be a great software developer, create something and sell it. You don't know. They could be an entrepreneur 100%. They could be in investment banking. They could be a lawyer. They could. You don't know how they get it. But the reason why you shouldn't compare is because guess what? Your life could be getting better. But if you stay negative, you will not even realize how blessed you are and how grateful like you should be because there's someone out there who wants to drive that Toyota Corolla. Now, honestly, you shouldn't feel like you're less of a person because someone has more than you. They go on better holidays than you. They have better clothes or better watches than you. You shouldn't because every dog has their day. Honestly, like one thing I know for sure is that I've had moments where I've been dark and I thought, wow, something's got to give. I'm working so hard. And then all of a sudden, I make 10 grand. And I'm like, whoa, where did that come from? And I've had moments where I'm like, whoa, times are hard. Keep your backside indoors and just lay low. But I don't go mad. Now, I mean, I know I'm a quite strong, resilient person, but not everyone's like that. But what I just want you to remember is that you don't know how someone got what they have. You don't know if they're even renting it. You, you generally don't know if they're faking it to make it. You don't know. You don't know if they're doing some illegal activity to get it. And guess what? If they're doing illegal activity, let's be honest, they either end up dead or in prison. 
And they might come out of prison, and guess what? They might have to try and make some money. It don't last for long. And guess what? I have nothing wrong with anyone who does anything illegal. Like, do what you got to do to survive. That's your business. That's your prerogative. But I've seen the trend, and guess what? People have their money for about five years. I don't know any um, anyone who's like 60, 70, who has come from, like, you know, doing illegal activity and still have money. I don't know any. If you know any, let me know. Now, don't compare yourself because your day will come. I mean, there's so many entrepreneurs out there. And if you're a guy, for example, that's motivated by money, there's entrepreneurs out there who make it at 38 years old or who make it at 45. The owner of KFC, he got successful in his 50s. Morgan Freeman, his first big movie was in his 50s. The gentleman who founded Netflix failed six startups before he made Netflix in his late 30s. So why should you, in your mid-20s or mid-30s, think, oh, this is the end of the world. I'm going to have this title of Corolla for the rest of my life. You never know. You might end up with a Rolls Royce and a private jet in five years. So just be calm, cool, collected. Your time will come. Don't compare. Let people enjoy the moment. Your time will come. Your turn will come. Okay? Now, for women out there who are watching this, now, you might think another woman is beautiful. Like, I get it. That could be hidden by filters. Now, filters, that Valencia filter, is dangerous. Plus, even off Instagram, there's apps you can download, which can literally hide marks in your face. It can pretty much be your foundation. It could pretty much be your MAC makeup. So guess what? Don't compare yourself to another woman's, like, just because you think, you know, she's getting more likes than you. She's getting more followers than you. Like, guys are commenting love hearts under her pictures more than yours. You're still beautiful in your own right. And if a guy can't see that and he doesn't recognize your value, then you need to find someone else. Because honestly, you in your natural state probably looks way better than this woman who has been airbrushed to death to look good. So don't compare yourself because society has different standards of beauty. When I grew up, big bums, like honestly in the 90s, big bums weren't a thing. They, no one cared about it. It was like Jada Pinkett, Nia Long, beautiful woman, you know what I'm saying? It was... Cameron Diaz, it was, oh, Angelina Jolie. These women are still beautiful, right? But now society is saying, nah, unless you've got a big bum, forget it. But that's just society, yo. So I'm being real with you. I'm, I'm about to go to the gym. But um, what I'm trying to say is don't compare because what you have is enough. And there's a story that I read from years ago when I was a kid of the tortoise and the hare. So just going back to those who are success driven because this channel is all about success and doing well anyway. There was the tortoise and the hare. I don't know if you know the story. You should, right? Because it's such a great book. I love that book, man. Um, the tortoise was really slow and the hare was fast. And the hare was like, oh, so confident. I'm doing so well. I'm beating it. I'm doing so well. And the tortoise was slow and not, wasn't getting anywhere. It felt like it wasn't getting anywhere. But what happened is just that consistent action of taking your time, taking your time, the tortoise actually beated the hare in the end. So the hare got complacent. It was like, I'm winning. I'm doing so well. I'm so successful. Got complacent and lost. And the tortoise won. So what I wanted to remind you of is that if you feel like you're not winning, you feel like someone else is winning, just stay consistent. Do what you're doing. Do whatever you're enjoying. Don't be scared of changing career paths if you think you know it's maybe more lucrative in that area. Don't worry about that. Do it with passion and just be consistent. Be consistent. Don't keep jumping trends. Don't keep jumping trends. Stick to one thing. I hope you don't misinterpret what I'm saying. And just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going and you will beat the, the hair. Now, I hope you understood that this video was all spiritual. There was no, no statistics, nothing. But it's just how I approach things and my mindset towards like when I see people with things wish them luck you know mean them well your time's coming you know use it as motivation never hate now i look forward to seeing you in the next video that's all i've got to say i don't want to waffle too much um subscribe hit that like button drop a comment if you can you know resonate with what i'm saying take care have a good afternoon evening wherever you are in the world watching this peace